here in a Roosevelt Landings apartment with uh, David Davenport of Urban Green Fit. Urban Green Fit. Urban Green Fit. Uh, Dave, can you just advise some of the tenants here in Roosevelt Landings how they can keep their apartments uh, warm during the upcoming winter? Certainly. Uh, we have uh, done a retrofit of the apartments in the building that uh, is designed to keep the apartments warm in three ways. Uh, by preventing the cold air from coming in, through air sealing, uh, by controlling the temperatures with the thermostats and giving the residents the ability to control the temperatures with the thermostats, and by keeping the conditioned air, the heated air, uh, from escaping. So it's a combination of uh, keeping uh, the cold air out through keeping the windows closed, um, through making sure that your air conditioner sleeves if you have no air conditioner in your air conditioner sleeve, you should have a cover like this on it. And beneath the cover, there should be an airtight seal. Uh, this is the, the, one of the major places that uh, we, we get cold air. And if you have an air conditioner in your air conditioner sleeve that's not the right size, and many residents have air conditioners that are not perfectly fitted, you need to make sure that there is a an airtight seal. Uh, we have gone through uh, most apartments uh, and installed that airtight seal, but if you're a new resident and you don't have it, uh, or you're an existing resident uh, and you feel cold air coming in, you should call the management office and we will come out and do a weatherization treatment. Uh, we will make sure that that seal is airtight. Also, if you have uh, an air conditioner sleeve that has the and, it's, and you have the air still there, but there are vents, uh, we can provide covers that go over the air conditioner that actually block the cold air from coming into the vents, even if the air conditioner is airtight. Also, um, you know, the windows are, uh, the, the closer you get to the window, uh, the colder uh, it's going to be, depending on the outdoor temperature. Um, the easiest way to uh, block this radiated cold. It's like putting your hand over a piece of ice. You'll feel the radiation of the ice hitting your hand is to put a block between it. So here, uh, here there are blinds. If the blinds were down, uh, there would be less radiated cold coming in. Um, you could also put uh, a dark curtain that blocks the radiated cold. Uh, that will do a, uh, go a long way in preventing the radiated cold uh, from coming in. So I just said two things. One is to uh, make sure that there are no drafts coming in, and management can help you by doing a weatherization treatment. And then you can do a window treatment of your window to block the radiated cold from coming in. Uh, the other piece is the thermostat. And the thermostats uh, are designed, uh, the absolute floor is uh, 68. The building is required to provide a minimum of 68 degrees. Residents can take the temperature uh, up to 72 uh, degrees uh, or more uh, by just pressing the button up. Now there's been uh, a little bit of confusion about the setbacks. Uh, the thermostat will set back at two points during the day. Uh, the thermostat, if you set it to 72, uh, at 10 p.m. in the evening, it will go back to 68. Uh, this is around the time that uh, some people go to sleep, uh, and uh, it's fairly common for thermostats to set back in the evening uh, when people are under the covers. But at that point, uh, it will automatically go back to 68 unless you press the up button up uh, to raise it back to your uh, comfort level. And then again, uh, at 6 a.m., the uh, temperature may set back. Uh, so when you wake up, uh, you'll want to uh, turn it up to your uh, comfort set point as well. Great. Great. Thank you.